Hey everyone, Steve here with Class A Surfacing. So um, I made a video about what's new in NX. And basically NX is no longer going to numerate, right? It's just, no. there's no NX13 per se. I know, funny the title NX13. But the reason why I'm making this video is because I get a lot of people asking me what's going on with NX, where's you know the next version, and um, I'm just trying to clear up a little confusion. So um, NX is going from a big release cycle from every year to year and a half to a continuous update process, and because it's going to a continuing update process, kind of like your operating system on your computer. Uh, they no longer are going to numerate the big releases. Like in this case, this would technically be NX13, but there is no NX13. It's just NX. And, uh, you know, there's some significant changes with the look and partly the feel of the system. You can see the icons have changed talked about this. You can see the What's New tab here when you first come in on the welcome page. This is nice because there's some little videos that uh, basically spell out some of the new things, what you can do, uh, convergent modeling, you know, the measure tool, that type of stuff. You can see here there's additive manufacturing and little video that goes with it and um, you can click on see all enhancements this release. You also have tips for newcomers and this is this is a page that you're uh, more likely to have seen or more familiar uh, excuse me more familiar with. So this is where you're going to uh, you know if you want to go to the applications get a little hint tips that type of stuff. So this is what you are already used to seeing. So um, again there's no NX13 per se as far as a release goes. And um, with that, I just wanted to spell it out to you and show you that um, NX is just going to a continuous release. There's a little button up here that allows you to do automatic updates. And um, you know, if you click on it, it'll say, hey, there's an update. If there's an update, it'll turn green, letting you know that um, it's an update, kind of like what Windows 10 does, right? It just gives you a continuous update every month or two months or three months or whatever that may be. And again, this lets uh, the good people at Siemens uh, release things much quicker out to the public. So um, if you're you, you know, you're looking, at maybe you want a new thing in NX, they uh, can now get that new thing to you within months versus maybe two release cycles where it could take two years, maybe three years. Um, something else of note, you're going to see the number 1847 pop up in a lot of places. And the reason why 1847 is significant, you can see down here, localhost, my documents are loaded up in NX 1847, is the... Um, release internal release number and what they basically numerated NX 1847 with is that it's uh, that's the year Siemens was started as a company so it's been around since 1847 it's been a great company all those years and um, it's just uh, I guess a nice logical place to start with your continuous releasing process so um, as you can see, once again, you know, the interface has been refreshed. It looks mighty new. Uh, let me click on one of the parts to open that up. That's just a load because I don't have the assembly uh, load option set correctly. Um, but you can see everything is uh, still basically there. Refreshed icons, uh, some uh, new features. Uh, really, they, they did a nice job. The, Part Navigator has been updated. If I click on that, you can see I have my little, and I've already talked about this, you know, I have my groups, that's my solid. You can see there's my reference set. You can see that there's, uh, you know, all my features. You can see that the hide show is um, set up in my Part Navigator as well. And additional functionalities that they've gone through and added and changed and, and so on and so forth. So, and as you can see, it's just simply an X. So, NX13 is just simply NX, and that's basically it. Um, I have found, after just working in this for a little while, that this is one of the best things ever. 
Um, it took a minute to get used to it or to remember that it's there, but it just really is truly fantastic. And again, I have a habit of working with um, my my navigator kind of condensed, but uh, you know I do open it up and and check things out because uh, you have that uh, current feature column in here where you can just simply click in the part navigator to get that. And, and this is not available in NX12. You have to have NX NX what equivalent of NX13, right? The continuous release. So you have to have the next version. This is not an NX12 or anything prior to that. Um, this column's always been there, the update column. This is nice because it allows you to go through and uh, manually do the updates the way that you want. You know, you can do your delay updates up here and update things as you see fit. But, um, you know, just some of the really nice things that they've done. It's got the new measure tool. Um, you know, some all of your selection intent is still there. The selection filtering, the hide show icons have changed a little bit as far as look and feel. You know, the layer settings, they're still basically the same and operate very similarly. They've updated the reference sets and how you can act, uh, access them here within the um, uh, the part navigator. That's That's been there for a little while and I'm a big fan of that and you can see um, based off of the solids that I have, um, everything's been booleaned into one. You may have to go in there and obviously make changes to the reference sets. Just gives you a nice place to go and, and, and do all that. And you have your hide show here as well. You can see everything um, gets hidden shown. Again, you have all of your product interfaces. Um, and, and this is really nice because you know it lists everything out, gives you the name of that product interface. You do have some capability here if you right mouse click on that product interface, you know, the where reference, interface interface properties, you know, you can I don't have any children. Um, nothing there yet. Gotta make it. Um, same thing over here. So but anyway, um, I'm just uh, uh, rambling now. But that's that's basically why I made this video is because I'm getting a lot of people asking me what about NX13? So um, NX13 is um, just simply NX. 1847. Anyway, I uh, hope this clears it up for a lot of you. And if you have any questions, just leave them down below. Thanks. If you like the video, learn anything, just please hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel if you're not already subscribed. And uh, please pass this along to anybody that might get something out of it.